Well, the city is just a little bit more festive tonight, just in time for that <laughs> chance of snow. The Waldorf Astoria Chicago Hotel lit its tree tonight, and Santa has arrived in the suburbs. Beautiful. Anthony Ponce has the festivities. It is impossible to not be in the holiday spirit here in the courtyard of the Waldorf Astoria in the Gold Coast, where a short time ago, 100,000 lights were lit behind me. The smell of evergreen is in the air, and the folks who attended tonight's ceremony says, no chance it happened too early. Five, four, three, two, one. When is it too early for joy? When is it too early for lights? When is it too early for snow? When is it too early just for the merriness that the holidays bring? Ten-year-old Rosie Quinn, part of the Lurie Children's Hospital family, did tonight's tree lighting honors. It has truly been a winter wonderland for me. So magical. This is like every kid's dream to flip a big switch. I love it. And even though the forecast may not call for real snow until tomorrow, the Waldorf provided its own, a welcome sight after having to do everything virtually one year ago. All of us have been through a lot these last two years, uh, and so to be able to be here celebrating in person, safely, of course, really keeps us grounded on what we know is important. Meantime, out at Woodfield Mall, the toy soldiers of Conant High School escorting the man himself straight from the North Pole. November 12th is right on time. Have an amazing night and happy holidays and happy Veterans Day. This tree behind me, even though the Millennium Park tree has gotten all the press and the Walnut Room Christmas tree is the largest Christmas tree in the Gold Coast. It's going to stay up through the holiday season. In the Gold Coast, Anthony Ponce, Fox 32 Chicago.